All right, and we're back for episode 14. We're just moving right along here. We're cruising on through. And uh, this week's brought to you by Porky's Custom Paint. We got to hang out with the old pork chop and the crew last week at the last Spotted Chopper show. It's not last week. It was probably like three weeks ago. But anyway, we got to hang out with them, and they built a really cool SR500 uh, chopper. They had the cone shove out. I think it was a cone shove. It might have been a slab side. I think it was a cone. I think it was a cone. They had the XS650. They had all the things. And uh, we got to hang out with them, and that was fun. And then uh, we got to hang out with Fat Man Custom Motors, too. It was uh, We were all there in Haverhill, Haverhill, Massachusetts. And it was very fun. Really great turnout. We're going to tell you all about it. That's where we were this week. We were at the last Spot of Chopper show. And a uh, beautiful day. Slight issue with the fire alarm. We finally had food at a chopper show. And the people who were uh, working the kitchen might have got a little uh, little hot and heavy on the grill. And set the fire alarm off and the fire trucks came and blah, blah, blah. But whatever. We're going to go live on scene. We're going to tell you all about it. We're going to go see what we see. And we're going to go right now. Up. It's time for Bike of the Week. Babe, bike, babe, bike of the week. And uh, this week's bike is a 
a big twin Evo chopper, but not just a big twin Evo chopper. It is a single loop frame, one loop, loop frame, which is really cool. Super into it. And um, it, it had like a, a aluminum axle plates, like custom axle plates. He's out that way. He's, uh, he's uh, somewhere over in the Middle West. But yeah, he did the frame on this one. And this one had all the power. And I'm trying to think with my brain, I think it had a five speed. But maybe it had a Baker 6 and a 4. I have pictures of it. That's the beautiful thing. I don't have to remember because I have it all on my cell phone. But anyway, here they all are. And I can't remember the kid's name, but we're going to put that here because we have the technology. And a uh, very cool bike. And he told me all about it. And I love when people tell me all about their bike. If you see me at a show, say, hey, Rick, let me tell you about my bike. Because then I know about it. And I see all the things that I missed. And all the cool little doodads. And thank you for showing it to me. And I was very happy to look at it. And uh, Baby of the Week. Email from Fish Tank Whiskey. Who also... Oh, I forgot to... Uh, sometimes, you know, yeah, I forgot. I was just looking with, you know, you know, you know. Oh, we have an email from Fish Tank Whiskey. Who also had his bike at the last spot at Chopper Show. And he's got like 20 sportsters and a shovel head. And he's got all kinds of stuff going on. But um, Fish Tank Whiskey. Seen him. <laughs> oh, an email from Fish Tank Whiskey, the, the Sportster King, the Triumph Master, the Shovelhead Connoisseur. But he wants to know what my favorite bike mod uh, are you super into right now? Uh, I will tell you, I am super into single loop frames. They're super cool. Um, there was a, uh, what's his name? His name's Ethan P. Tattooer. Uh, he had his bike at the last Spotted Chopper show, and it was a slab side shovel in a single loop. But it was very cool, and uh, it had really cool exhaust, where like the exhaust, like the inner exhaust was fitted to the outer. It had all of the sauce. But single loop frames. Mullins Chain Drive makes a super cool one. The Zilstra Choppers Dude in Michigan makes them. And uh, a lot of people make them. I think the Ben Jeff guy might make them. There's a lot of people that make them, but they're all cool. And check, check, check. Done. Email done. Bike done. Bucket. What's in the bucket? So like we were saying, we talked to we uh we oh another shirt. Is it like deja vu? We have a shirt over here. We have a shirt over here. We have a shirt over here. We ran into Fat Man Custom Motors. He said, Rick, get these mediums off my desk. So the next people who uh buy medium T-shirts off of our website, you're gonna get a free Fat Man Custom Motors shirt while supplies last. And the people who don't order T-shirts in a medium size, we have a bunch of stickers. So uh, we like putting other people's stickers into your orders because then you get extra stickers. Who doesn't like extra stickers? He's got a new shop somewhere in New Hampshire. Uh, it's really close to Epping. I know it's not in Epping anymore, but they have a huge shop now. Um, and it's very cool. And he does all the, he's, uh, he's Mr. Sportster. He does all the Sportsters, all of our friends Sportsters. He'll get anything that you got squared away uh, mechanic wise. Hey, he'll do your damn car. You got a hot rod, you got a pickup truck, you got a muscle car, talk to our man Fat Man. His phone number is right on the shirt. But uh, we appreciate him, and Steve's a homie, and uh, thank you for the stuff, and we'll, we'll make sure that they find their way to a, a really nice home. Yeah. What else do we got? We were looking through all of our things. We have a whole box of uh, nostalgia stuff from yesteryear, and I had these in my pocket since forever ago. And they are uh, tickets that we bought to win this Ironhead for $25 uh, at Fuel Cleveland uh, on 2018. That was the first one that me and Kelsey 2 ever went to. And it was a lot of fun. And uh, we seen a ton of bikes uh, from people who we're really good friends with now. Which is cool. That's pretty neat. Um, but yeah, but we had these raffle tickets and they brought us down memory lane. And it was fun to uh, check them out. But um, let's loop that right around. This year, uh, a show, the Chopper Show, the party. We always tell you about the parties. Uh, Feel Cleveland, obviously. Uh, that's going to be going on this year. Uh, we're going to put it right here. This is when the next Feel Cleveland is. Summer show, huge ride-in bike show. Uh, chopper Show. It's going to be a cool one. I heard some things. A little bird was over here, and he was telling me things. And uh, I, they're really going to switch it up this year. So if you're going to get to one, you should definitely get to this one. And we'll see you there. Are you going? Yeah, I'm going. Here are some basic questions. Are you building a motorcycle? Yes. Do you like uh, ugly wiring? No. 
Do you want cool wiring? Yes, because it blends in and it makes everything look nicer on places where you can't hide it like your headlights and your taillights and run it up your sissy bar. You need the cool colors, man. We have some neat colors. We have brown. We have blue. We have green. And we have even more coming. We have red and yellow and white and vintage white. And we have all the colors. And you can buy it right on our website. You can buy it on chopshit.com. And you could buy it if you want uh, one, a quantity of one. It's per 10 feet. I think it's like eight bucks for 10 feet. It's really cheap. But if you buy two, then we will give you uh, 16 feet of continuous. So uh, we'll make it as long as you want is what I'm trying to say. We know. Blah, 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 blah. So check us out for all of your wiring needs. And we uh, will get you... Um, Conducted. All right, and we're all done. That's it. We're done for this week. We're done with episode 14. We will be back for episode 15. Um, I can tell you what episode 15 is going to be because I'm using my brain, and if I'm skipping ahead to all the shows of where we're going to be and where we've already been and where we're going to be in the future, we're going to be at the Back Row Barbecue Run, and I'm bringing my Sportster and uh, my Dirtster Sportster, and I'm going to be shredding it off-road. So there's probably going to be some footage of that. There's probably going to be some footage of me trying to pick it up off the ground, which should be really funny because it's super heavy. And uh, there's going to be a Chopper Cane Queen. There's going to be uh, a ride. There's going to be a lot of really cool stuff that we're going to be bringing you from North Carolina. So we'll see you there. We probably already seen you there. But maybe you'll see us see you there. So uh, check it out, and we'll, we'll catch you later. And like us and follow and tell your friends and tell your postman and tell your kid's school bus driver about chicken uh, winging it with Chicken Rick. And we appreciate it. And we'll see you at the grocery store or at a chopper show near you. Don't go to the grocery store. <laughs>